Okay, so I will start by saying welcome, first of all. <laughs> welcome. Okay. And um, this is something that um, I'm really, really excited to do. Um, as an artist, I'm usually touring on a big stage, um, festivals, cruises, and things like that. And so it's really, really great to be able to uh, do this. I am playing with tracks. So I just want to tell you that on a couple of tracks, there are a couple of solos that uh, they didn't take out. And so you'll hear me. We're going to be like, this is a, a, a concert, mini concert. <laughs> so, and, but the, the good news is that both the artists, that the solos that you'll be hearing are from New York. So I'll let you know who they are and, uh, as we go along. So I have to work all this myself, so bear with me. The first uh, track is um, a track entitled um, 1960. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, originally, and um, I'm now living in San Antonio, Texas. But when I um, first moved from Detroit, I moved to Houston, Texas, and there was this street that everything was just, every time you went somewhere, they would say, well, you take 1960, you know, and I'm always influenced. Uh -huh. <laughs>
definitely takes a lot of wind <laughs> doing the style of jazz that I do. And um, so I'm usually playing with a four piece ensemble on stage, but it's all amplified. So um, whereas I'm playing on the mic, the wireless system that I play, I also have ears, which I didn't bring today because I didn't really need them. But I uh, also have an in-ear monitor that I use so that I can hear myself. Because otherwise, um, as you know, you can overblow. And that's never good. Not to mention, you can strain. You can actually like strain your lungs if you play really hard. So. You know, that's something to, uh, in, in this style of jazz that I do. So, the next song is a song, all of the music I co-wrote or wrote, uh, unless it's a cover song that I've done, and that's a song by another artist. My whole career, and, and even pushing me in areas where I thought, oh, I can't do that, or they'll never do this, and yeah. So, this is uh, dedicated to him. <coughs>
different styles of music, and definitely uh, my roots um, are rooted in, um, I would say, soul, R&B, um, as my dad was one of the original funk brothers with Motown and played trumpet. You know, so uh, definitely that's what was going on. You know, it's a whole lot of soul going on <laughs> in Detroit. <laughs> and um, so I wanted to do something more inspirational, but I, I haven't really done anything with this music, but this is something that I've been working on but haven't released. And it's um, a gospel standard entitled Walk With Me, Lord. So it's just something I've been working with. I'm going to share it with you guys. <laughs> I know. <laughs>
I was a single parent and with two small boys, and I had gone out on the road one time too many and didn't get paid, <laughs> as we often do. Some, t you know, most of the time, especially early in your career, uh, which is why I've written a book, which I'll talk about later, um, because hopefully I can help other young women or anybody interested from going suffering some of the pitfalls that I had to go through. Um, but my dad, I, you know, growing up in a musical family, and he ran a jam session for like years, and a lot of the greats uh, came through there and, um, and was able to play. And so that's how I kind of learned. Um, I was, had a classical scholarship, and, um, but then I just wanted to experiment with jam, you know? So I started going to jam sessions uh, around Washington, D.C., and asking if I could sit in and everything, and um, jam sessions are really important to developing your, um, your brain, with well, your personality on the flute, because you can learn jazz chords and, you know, or you can play, but until you go out and just play where you don't know what the song, you don't know what they're gonna play, they're just like, you want to jump in, you just jump in. <laughs> and that's kind of how you learn, on the fly. So uh, this next song, with that being said, I met Dave on the phone last night, and he was gracious enough to bring the sound system. And while we were chatting, uh, I said, oh, do you play? And he said, yeah, I play flute, you know. And he, he was telling me a few things that he did, <laughs> great resume. And um, so I'd like to invite him up to play on this song. And yeah. Okay, go get you. Still working. Um, so I wrote this song for my dad because my dad had two or three jobs, as a lot of uh, musicians have to do at times. And but no matter what he was doing, he always had a smile on his face when he would come in, and he had this special name, you know, that he would uh, nickname for me. So he would come through the door, and he would say, "Hey, Snoochie Pooch." <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote a song about it. Uh, Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
unfinished business. But then we, you know, we, it was time to go. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, man. So everything that I'm playing is off of uh, one of my CDs. And uh, I've been in the business a long time. You know, a long time. Ask me how long. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been around for the end of reel to reel. Um, cassettes. My first uh, single was on a cassette. Uh, my second was on like a 12 inch, which they're coming back, so that's not so. <laughs> that's kind of okay. <laughs> but I've been, I've had the same dream my whole life. My brother and I, when we were six and seven, we were handing out tickets we made up and to our concerts in the back room. So we've been doing this for a long time, you know. And um, this next song is really a song that's kind of um, one of my favorites. It's a cover song. Um, so, you know, I didn't write it, but it really speaks to a lot of the anxiety. I don't know for all of you, but every day, it seems like you hear something when you thought you've heard the worst you've ever heard, um, you turn on the news and there's something else. And there's always something that if you lend yourself to it, you could really, it could give you severe anxiety. <laughs> so I have to limit the amount of news and how I receive, you know, if I wanna have a positive day, I'm just, I'm just not gonna let all of it in. You know, and so this this song is entitled "Free," and and that's really sometimes you just have to take yourself away and uh, find peace. If there's someone, family stressing you, sometimes you just have to say no. Sometimes you have to do what makes you feel free. So that's what this song is all about. So I got this key yet, so I can just <laughs> get it. <laughs> If I can free myself from that.
Would sound application amp amplification uh, enhance a beginner's uh, productivity in terms of sound production? You mean from like with the mic or? What would you have, and uh, would that enhance their ability to um, be it, better? Well, no. You know, the all the the sound, the, especially with the little. Um, reverb, it makes it easier to be able to, to um, sustain notes live, you know, because it's not the same when you're on a stage, you have to sustain the notes. The bigger the stage, the harder it is to do that, especially with a band banging away, <laughs> you know. So it, it, yeah, it, the effects really do help. Um, but I would say, really, like I practice with no effects, you know, I just practice flat because that's something that helps you but it's not going to make you better it softens your sound you know but you, you should still just practice flat but if you if you're doing like a performance or something yeah then that definitely you know in jazz not necessarily in other types of music so um, so this last song that I'm gonna do is um, a song that is kind of like my closer. It's actually my thing that I do. A lot of flutists, flautists, um, you know, there's always the, I consider myself a flutist because um, I'm, I don't flout. <laughs> I don't flout anymore. <laughs> Especially just in jazz. you <laughs> should. Everybody needs a little flout. But, uh, but yeah, um, this song is a song that's my closer. And like I said, there are different, you have uh, the, um, Jim Patello, what's his first name? Greg, Greg. Greg. Greg Patello, Greg Patello. So I'm a big fan of uh, what he does with the beatboxing, if you've ever heard him. Um, when I was coming up, my dad would play on Saturday mornings. He played uh, a lot of jazz stuff. He would play a lot of Yusuf Latif. And a lot of, uh, and then I heard uh, Ian Anderson and was blown away by the way he was able to. Well, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, and I was blown away by, um, you know, how he played over uh, rock music with the flute. So I've always, always been intrigued with different ways to present the flute because uh, a lot of times when you say, oh, we're going to a show, and they say, okay, what, what kind of jazz show? And you say, yeah, she plays the flute. They're like, oh. You know, so everybody loves the saxophone, everybody loves guitars and saxes, and uh, so with the flute, you really, I knew I had to, to stand out because even trying to join a band, they would always say, do you sing? And I'd say, well, yeah, but no. <laughs> and then they would say, well, do you play any other instruments, saxophones or anything? And I always felt like I, when I said no, th this was a, like a downer. And it shouldn't be a downer, you know, because the flute is such a beautiful instrument. And so I wanted to present it in a different way. And so um, Greg, he does a beatbox. I do flute talk, you know. And so on this particular song, and in my show, I'm going to do, do this kind of the way I do my show. Because at a certain point on this song, I go out in the audience and I play to people, you know. And, and I'm, when I say out in the audience sometimes it's, you know I'm, I'm like out there like I'm dying I'm dying how am I going to get back you know <laughs> in heels and dancing on stage and, and that whole thing sometimes it's really hot outside and so different elements and when it's really hot my pads will stick and so there are all of these di different things but this song is entitled No Restrictions and I wrote this because um Every once in a while, you gotta treat yourself. Every once in a while, you can't do it all the time, but every once in a while, you gotta treat yourself. Go out to a five-star restaurant. Take a Go buy a Ford. <laughs> <Go buy four. laughs> right, get that new car, yeah. right? Buy a new flute. Yeah. <laughs> right, which I did. And I am loving, I, I am loving my Altus. I, I had an Altus uh, prior to this, um, but this is the um, the platinum clad clad yes. yes and I am really really loving the tone and everything it's really good for um, for jazz in particular because it really is a it's a powerful uh, metal and I play different ones and I really like this. Thank you. 
Oh, <laughs> my